Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a feature with pivot tables in Excel called Show Items with No Data. This can be very useful when you filter various items within your data and various rows or columns disappear. So let's take a look and see how this works. So here's our scenario. We have a pivot table and I've set it up with a timeline. Now if you're not familiar with how to do a quick pivot table or creating a timeline, I'll put the links to those videos uh, down below so you'll be able to easily find those. But if we filter our pivot table by time, for example, say I choose months and I select a month, say August, notice how not only do the values disappear, but some of the rows and columns do also. Before I had uh, seven different items in my rows and four different items in my columns, and those have each been reduced by one by filtering it down to August. I'd like to see those rows and columns remain in my fields, so uh, there is a feature in Excel to allow you to do that. So I'm going to go back and clear that filter. And how you implement this is you click in the area of your row headers and you go down to field settings. I'm going to move this up a bit and in the layout and print tab there is an option show items with no data. I'll check that and say OK. Now if I select August link which is in row 8 even though there are no values, it remains and it just shows blanks across. But notice how my north column disappeared. And again, because if I want to implement that for columns, I have to do the same thing that I did with the rows. And that is right click into the area of the columns. Again, go down the field settings, layout and print, and show items with no data has to be checked. I'll say OK, and now notice North has now appeared, and my pivot table, even though the data is filtered down, still shows all the rows and columns in it. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.